I got in a second writing session tonight. Um, what happened was I ended up reaching that that section that I was revising for a while there, that, that one I keep talking about. Finally got to that section in the story after I put it aside, and, and so I, I did all my line edits up to that point. And then tonight, um, it, it was a situation where I didn't want to wait till tomorrow to start making those edits i wanted to kind of just to sort of face the music now sort of just rip the band-aid off whatever you know expression you want to use and went in and i altered the scene uh it ended up being a section where i took about half of, of what i of what i wrote um that was new and kept about half of what was old so about 50 50 50 each way um in a section just reads a lot better um there there were some new things that i wrote some you know some things that i thought that were really interesting but it just was not moving the story forward, and uh, honestly, I don't think the readers were going to care a whole lot. So, took that out. Um, yeah, so I am back on track now. Uh, it, you know, I'm at about page 200. Um, the, the whole main right now is 375 pages, so I'm on page 200 of that um, with a little over, a little over half the month left. We're, we're going to see if I can maybe get this thing done. Um, but yeah, we're back on track. Uh, I was... Yeah, just feeling really good about that. Uh, at about a 10-page pace a day, and then a bit more on the weekends, I'll have this whole thing knocked out by the end of the month. Um, as to what happens after that, I don't know. But that's all I'm doing. I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm just thinking in intermittent terms here. <laughs> I'm, think- I'm thinking like one, you know, one thing at a time, basically. Uh, so feeling good there. Um, yeah, and just overall, it's, it's been exciting. Uh, what I will say is, going forward, uh, there is probably going to be some more deeper revisions needing to be done towards the end of this, towards the end of the book. So I imagine like the last week of this month, I, I'm I'm going to be probably in the same position I was earlier, where I was just tearing my hair out trying to get these sections to work, because the ending is, it's a little rough. It's not. It's not terrible. Um, by any means, the epilogue, like, well, it's not, it's not an epilogue, but, like, the final chapter, which basically is, in its own way, an epilogue, um, is, is amazing. Like, really, really proud of that one, but it's, it's the actual climax, and then just the, the brief falling action, um, at the very end, uh, that needs to be reworked a little bit, uh, it needs to, it need, it needs to be redone, um, just a tad, but, with that, that's always something, something for another time. Um, for now, the, the important thing is that at least the first half of the manuscript now it is revived. It's at the point where I wouldn't mind other eyeballs taking a look at it at, at this point. So uh, happy with that, certainly. Uh, and we're going to see where we go from there. Um, I, I've mentioned before that the beginning of the manuscript is always the most important part, um, especially for me. Uh, it, it's very common advice that people will tell you, you know, you got to make, you know, your first page to stand out and make your first page strong and all that stuff. I completely agree. I, I would take it a step further and say that, you know, your first half of the book needs to be really, really strong. Ultimately, everything does, but at least get the first half done. Um, just because a strong first half of your book puts you in a position where technically in a way you could start querying um it, it speeds the process up a little bit uh it's not something that anyone would ever really advise you to do in the sense that if you say you query the first you know 10 pages right you want to get those first 10 pages looking amazing for the agent for the publisher and all that um but specifically when the agent takes a look at that those first 10 pages they'll make their determination solely on those like the, whether whether you hear back or not from an agent um, is going to be based upon those just initial 10 pages there. And then when they hear back from them, they'll ask for maybe a partial, a full manuscript request, whatever it may be. And if you are in a situation, much like myself in a way, where perhaps the first half of your book is really strong and the second half is not as strong, you'll have the opportunity to potentially revise it. That That's, that's sort of what happened with my whole situation with the publisher that I talked about you know, uh, I won't say endlessly, but I talked about that earlier this year. The same thing kind of applies in these scenarios where if the first half of your book is like super strong and the second part needs a little bit more work, 
they're willing to let you do perhaps perhaps a, a revision and get back to them or something like that. Um, I, as a general rule, I would probably go with the advice of not relying on this. To be honest, so even though this this is this is sort of like a, like a do a, do as I say, not as I do scenario where I'm thinking in these terms. I would not encourage someone else to do that unless you know that your first part is like is like you know really good like you like you got to be like Faulkner basically um on that first part of your story if you're going to try to pull something like this off uh it's again and I'm not something where I'm I'm planning on necessarily querying early like I don't plan on querying until the story is is overall at a satisfaction where, where I like it but <clears throat> inevitably the more eyeballs that you put on that first half the more passes you make um the more extra work that you do in that first half to make it really shine the better it's going to look and, and the more you can kind of get away with so it's more like a fail safe and i'm saying this more in that kind of fail safe context of you know you get your manuscript done and you think okay it's it's all right i think i don't know and if you can analyze it and you know recognize that maybe the first half is strong um, or if it's not, if you go back and make revisions to that first half, there's a, there's a sense of being safer. It, it, it's, it's sort of a safer gamble in a sense. Um, and it also gives you a chance to kind of field test too. Um, that, that's, that's kind of the other reason you might want to consider this idea, um, or at least that, that's at least why I'm considering the idea. In that, if your first te- if you query an agent with your first ten pages, and we'll say we'll say you query, you know, well we'll make it easy. So you say you say you query ten agents with your first ten pages. If you don't hear a word back from any of them, you know, all right, e- either the 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 first ten pages there's something wrong. Um, there could be something wrong with your query letter. There could be just structural things where you've written a 300,000 word debut story and it's just too many, you know, they, they don't want to take something like that. They, they know publishers aren't going to be interested in that for a first time debuting author, that sort of thing. Um, so there are some, I guess, some general logistical stuff, but just assuming that your query letter is strong and that logistically, you, you know, you've written a book that's for the genre, that, that that's within, has the proper word count and all that stuff, um, and, that, and that you have perhaps something of a social media platform, you you can assume correctly that that it's your first 10 pages that that was a deal breaker something about that was the deal breaker so the re- if you spend a lot of your time working on those first that first half there you're going to find out much quicker whether the story basically is strong enough to go forward or not if you wasted all your time revising the whole book and getting your whole book to that same level as your first 10 pages well, you wasted, you know, you put a lot of time into this book, which is lovely, but this book was never going to see any kind of publication just because the first 10 pages needed to be redone first. So by putting a lot of focus and a lot of effort on the first half of your story, you're going to get a sense faster as if the story is actually publishable at all, or if, you know, you know, you've wasted months and months working on the second half of the story when the first half wasn't even going to get you um, in the door anyways. Um, I do hope that makes sense. I, I know I kind of rambled there for a bit, but I hope that makes sense. Um, and again, it's not something that I would tell most writers, most authors at all. Um, this was advice that was given to me. I will I will say this was advice given to me by a very, by a very, very successful author um, some, some time ago when I was going for my MFA. Um, who often talked about, you know, having a strong first half um, just because an agent's willing to take a chance on you um, if you have a strong first half and you need you have a second half that needs to be redone. So it is advice that I was given by, uh, you know, by a very reputable author, but you need, I would not necessarily recommend this for everybody. It's not something I would recommend for the general population. I'm saying this more as just kind of like an informational thing. Um, however, so that, I said that maybe you are, maybe you are the person that maybe this might work for. It's hard. It's without seeing it in other authors' work, it's hard to obviously gauge whether this would work or not, and it's hard to tell based upon your goals and ambitions and really what your timeline is. Um, I'm speaking on a bit of a shorter timeline. Um, it's self-imposed, but I have my own, I guess, side reasons for this to a degree, um, which maybe I'll share in another vlog at some point. 
Um, so for me, that that's kind of my thing here at the moment. Um, to get the first half really strong, and then from there, potentially start querying. Um, this won't happen, obviously, until I've done at least a few more drafts of the entire thing. But something to be aware of, and, and just something I'm sharing with everybody here, just so you get an idea of where my head's at right now in this process. So until then, I, I will be back tomorrow um, again at the keyboard with about a half the manuscript left to do on my third pass of revisions.